Rajendra Singh, Honorable Rachamp, Dr. Jaitmar, Defense Secretary, Admiral Craig Kumar, Mr. Sandeep Ashwin, members from the industry, as well as from the governments of both the countries. Good morning, once again. I am delighted to address this seminar on new frontiers in U.S.-India defense cooperation to deliberate topics of next generation technology, innovation, and make in India. It is good to see that all key stakeholders in our growing cooperation are present here. I am sure that their guidance and deliberations will help in shaping our cooperation in the coming years. India and U.S. bilateral relations today encompass the major pillars of our strategic partnership that includes security, energy, and technology. These have deepened over the years with greater bilateral economic engagement and continuous dialogue from both sides on in both bilateral as well as multilateral forums. In the last few years, our relationship has expanded into a global partnership based on greater convergence of our views on many issues which concern both the countries. Terrorism is one, global peace and security is another, and a shared approach towards humanitarian relief operations all over the world. Our defense and strategic relationship also encompasses a broad spectrum of activities from intelligence sharing, joint humanitarian efforts, as well as mutual port visits by the navies of both sides, joint exercises, logistics, trading of military hardware, access to a wide array of technologies, and most importantly, co-development and co-production of military systems. The designation of India as a major defense partner and increasing willingness on part of U.S. government to enable high technology transfer through special provisions such as strategic trade authorization, tier one license exemption, is facilitating our defense cooperation at industry to industry level. I speak from personal experience. As a chairman of Mahindra Defense and Mahindra Aerospace, I have had wonderful experience of working with U.S. companies, whether it is BA supplied M777 guns, which are assembled by Mahindra Defense, tested, integrated, not far from Delhi, whether it is Indian Air Force pilot training for our transport aircrafts with both Boeing and Lockheed, or partnership for defense electronics, radars, with major U.S. company Telephonics Corporation, and many others. I only spoke about what I have personally seen, but there are many companies in India similarly cooperating with many companies in U.S. There is no end to examples I can cite here. We are part of global supply chain of Boeing as well as GE. These partnerships have withstood the test of time. Several recent policy initiatives by the Indian government have catalyzed the Indian defense industry. These are aimed to transform India into a global design and manufacturing hub in aerospace and defense sector. With tremendous industry capacity in all disciplines and abundant, highly skilled manpower, India is ripe with the essential qualities required for a vibrant and innovative manufacturing hub. The two defense corridors in UP and in Tamil Nadu are very well suited for investments by US companies who wish to expand their footprint in India. 
with many U.S. majors having already made investments in setting up technology, design, and manufacturing hubs here, we are certain partnership between the two countries will not only endure, will only strengthen year on year. <coughs> Relationships happen between the countries when there are people to people contact. Industry plays its part, governments play their part. But people to people, what we call track to, that plays a major role in relationships between the countries. In case of India, it is no secret that lakhs of students are today studying in US. There is hardly a family perhaps here who does not have son, daughter, brother, sister, nephew, niece who is in US today. These relationships create a familiarity with the nation that makes it comfortable to work together. That softer note is as important in our relationship as the initiatives at both the government level, industrial cooperation, which has brought the two countries together. SIDM recently organized a delegation of Indian industry leaders to the United States and engaged with the US Department of Defense and US Chamber of Commerce to identify potential areas of collaboration. They had opportunity to visit uh, major OEMs also. I got very positive feedback. And I'm happy to share that SIDM will be working with US Department of Defense, US Chamber, and other stakeholders to actively carry forward the process of industrial cooperation which already exists. In my opinion, strong G2G foundation is already in place. Into US Defense cooperation is all set to grow significantly in coming years. All it remains for me to say, as president of SIDM, on behalf of the entire industry, I reiterate our commitment to work with US companies, and we look forward to building more partnership with US majors and Indian companies to move towards being a $25 billion industry in India. Thank you so much, Jenny.